Hello, I'm Matt Tavares, and I'm the author-illustrator of Growing Up Pedro. Um, when I was little, I, I used to love to look through the, the Boston Globe sports section and find pictures of my favorite Red Sox players. And, and that's, that's my earliest memory of, of drawing, is looking and finding pictures like of Carl Yastrzemski and Jim Rice and, um, and just sitting on, at the coffee table and, and looking at the, the picture and just trying to, trying to draw it with, with the crayon. And I still have some of that artwork. And, and I remember drawing this one picture of Carl Yastrzemski. And it was the first time I ever drew a picture of a person and it actually looked like him. And it was just so exciting to me that I, could, that I made this uh, picture of Carl Yastrzemski and someone could look at it and know it was him. And that, that kind of made me want to keep drawing more. When I was working on this book, I watched a lot of video of Pedro's games, and I noticed it was amazing to see when he was on the mound, sometimes the, the TV crew would do this extreme close-up of his face, and he just had this intense look on his face, and you, you know, he was just completely focused. And then they would show him between innings, and he'd be sitting with his brother Ramon, because they played together on the Red Sox for a couple seasons. And when he was talking to his brother, or his brother would be talking to him, giving him advice, and he looked like a little kid. I mean, he looked like a little brother listening to every word that his big brother was saying. So I wanted to try to capture that in the book. And there's, there's a page turn where you see a nice close-up of, of Pedro's face on the mound. And then you turn the page and you see him with his brother. And it's not, I didn't mention it in the words, but I think you uh, hopefully can, um, can see that just in the pictures, just how his face softens and sort of how he admired his brother. I think the perfect reader for a lot of my baseball books is a kid who loves baseball and maybe maybe is not as crazy about reading as, as they are about baseball. And, and I've ran into a lot of kids like this at school visits where teachers have told me. Um, I mean, a lot of times it's boys who maybe aren't as drawn to reading, um, but it's, you know, there are girls too. Um, but, but yeah, I think sometimes the baseball is what draws them to the book in the first place. And then, you know, and it's how I was when I was a kid, where I would read anything if it was about baseball. And then, you know, you read so many baseball books, you think maybe there are some other good books I could read too. I think the best piece of advice I've been given, and it didn't seem significant at the time, but it's something I keep coming back to, is my, my college um, painting professor, uh, Professor Nicoletti. He, he always said, if you're stuck, sweep the floor, do something else. And, and that was, he was saying part of being an artist is you have to get up and work and be productive every day. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel it every day. You're not gonna be inspired every single moment. And, and his point was just to try to make every, every part of your day productive. So that's something I've thought of a lot. If I'm sitting there and, and the picture isn't going the way I want it to go, um, I'll just get up and do something else. Sometimes it's just cleaning my studio. I don't know if it's actually sweep the floor, but, um, but just take care of other things and then coming back to it, and I think that usually helps me. I think one of the most memorable responses I've ever gotten to any of my books was from my very first book, Zachary Ball. And it was one of the first school visits I ever did. And, um, and the librarian came up to me before my presentation and said that there was uh, a kid named Juan and he usually wasn't interested and didn't pay attention in class. And she said that she read Zachary's Ball before my visit. And he was, he was totally, um, he listened the whole time. And afterwards, she let him uh, take the book home. And he came in and came back to school. And he had written and illustrated his own copy version of Zachary's Ball to give to me. Um, and I got to meet this little kid. And, uh, and it was just like, it really blew me away. Because you know, up to that point, I had been waiting, making this book, sitting you know, alone in my studio, and um, didn't really think of, of real kids actually reading it. And, uh, and just seeing that it could actually have this, this impact on kids was, uh, was pretty amazing for me. A lot of the research for Growing Up Pedro I actually did years ago, before I even knew I was doing research for this book, because um, back when I was working on my first book, Zachary's Ball, I lived in the Boston area and I just went to a bunch of Red Sox games. And those were the years when Pedro was pitching. 
So I got to experience being in the park on days when he was pitching and just feeling that electricity. And, um, and so when I started working on the book, I had not only all these memories, but all these pictures I had taken of, of those games that I used um, as reference in my illustrations. And then I also, um, while I was working on this book, I went to the Dominican Republic. Uh, it was kind of a family vacation, but it was also a research trip where I got to, um, I got to go and see a lot of places that still look how they looked when Pedro was a kid. So instead of just finding pictures online, I actually got to walk walk through these places. And um, one family even welcomed us right into their home. And I got to take all these great pictures and just really soak it in. And it, and it made it um, pretty special for me when I got to go back home and, and get back to work. And I was drawing all these places I had just been. Um, so it was, it was quite an experience doing the research for this one.